I don't think I've ever been to a more majestic place. Oh, if you are an avocado, a fish, a fishy and I don't. You could push my button and see I'm not ready, no, I'm not ready to eat if you choose When we were sailing out of Croatia, we had 14 knots of breeze on the beam and were going 7 knots on Avalon and felt like king and queen of the ocean. Now, we may have been feeling a little cocky at this point and thought that we might nail flying the drone. Which we did not. You best stay away Find a better avocado That's right today Cause if you cut the skin you'll see A stone where a heart should be Oh, where a heart should be oh, Where a heart should be We said a heartfelt goodbye to Croatia and said hello to Montenegro. A bitch, a fish I don't know. Well, you can push my button and see that I'm not ready, no. I'm not ready. Porto Montenegro, Porto Montenegro, Porto Montenegro. This is finding Avalon, finding Avalon, finding Avalon. Over. Hi there, we're just finished at the customs dock and have our vignette and we would like to come to the marina to for some power and some water but we do not wish to stay the night. Is that possible? Fine, how long? Copy that. Uh, just tell me length over room, length over room. 12 meters. Over. Fine, how long? Porto Montenegro, be stand by. I'll call for two minutes. For two minutes, I'll call you back. Copy. Over. We chose to check in at the port of Tivat because it appeared that there were ample anchorages close by in which we could rest our weary heads that night. It didn't take long to discover that this is actually the super yacht capital of the world. Avalon felt very small indeed. We scurried away from all the hubbub and found a lovely little anchorage on an island close by. Majestic place. Majestic's the word, isn't it? 
the mountains just towering over everything and they're just so so big and bleak and so close to the so close to the shore it's just so surreal we like it here what do you reckon captain loving it Loving it. That's his favourite song. Just started doing a happy dance and I bang my head on the boom. It's an ongoing problem. I'm so happy though. This place is amazing. Watch our love flow lyrically. Watch our love flow lyrically. Watch our love flow lyrically. So it turns out that you can anchor for free just outside the city. So we're just driving around the anchorage trying to pick a good spot. Jackson's just checking the depths and all that. And here's our spot for the next couple of nights. So Jackson's going to tell me when he wants me to drop the anchor and then he will reverse in a straight line because that will mean that old Brucey boy turns the right way around and then he will dig into the ground. It's mud around here. And hopefully he will set. It's been working quite well for us, this little system. We had a couple of nights of anchor anxiety, our first couple of nights. Literally no sleep, because we had no faith in the process, but this has worked really well for us, so. We've been sleeping easy lately. Now the anchor's down, I'm going to put the snubber on and Jackson's going to reverse on the anchor to see whether we move. The snubber's on, my lover. done all his reversing and now he sits he sits and we wait he sits and he waits and he observes so I'm gonna make coffee have five minutes see whether we move but the reversing went well so folks not sure if you can make it out from here but there is a fort right there and we are going to get to it by climbing these hectic zigzag stairs right here all the way up we'll wait till it cools off a little bit first we're just going to chill for a bit before we explore the town we've come up with a rule that during the time between 10 and 3 we don't really exert ourselves because it's been making us really sort of woozy and dehydrated because it's so hot here. Isn't that right, Captain? So hot. Would you like a nut? Oh, yes, please. Just a sec. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to film and throw at the same time. All right, I'll look at your face this time. <laughs> so, was, do you just want the whole packet? Probably the better way. So, old Captain Pants is just gonna um, research about how we can get our plug sockets working when we're at anchor because we're finding that really hard, especially with YouTube and Patreon and stuff getting. You've only got a few hours on your laptop and then it's done. So he's just trying to work that out for us to organize in Corfu. And I am going to make a blog post on the highlights of the islands of Croatia. And I will also write a little email to our Patreons and do my taxes, because I'm a good girl. See you in the fort this afternoon. Apparently it's pretty cool.
Banana pancakes for my captain! Yay! Thank you, first mate. My <laughs> prompts. We are on our way out of Qatar and we are going with our new friends, Project Manaya. We were anchored next to them and had a few beers with them last night, and they are awesome. I've got a massive life crush on them. The, um, the guy is called Manuel, he's from Austria and he used to work on the Rainbow Warrior boat for Greenpeace and his amazing girlfriend is called Pina and she's from Turkey and they are basically ocean research scientists that are on a mission to make this world better as, as they sail around the world so they're here doing a few projects and the last one they did was taking some marine mammal researchers out to sea. And we got chatting from last night and um, Pina is vegan and when, <laughs> when, he fa when Manuel found out that Jackson eats animals, he was like, right, okay, we're having a barbecue tonight. So they've had a barbecue, they've got a barbecue that they've only used three times. So he's very excited about us coming on board and then later the, the whole reason we're going to Rizan is France who runs the Med Sailors podcast Jackson wrote into Med Sailors and told him about the trip and Franz answered the question on his podcast which is really more just an email and not really a question came from Jackson Cranfield and he wrote, Hi Franz, I've been listening to your podcast for the past two years and have loved it. All the stories and advice you've passed on. My name is Jackson, I'm 27 years old, Australian, and five years ago I started developing the dream to sail around the world. I have competitively sailed since the age of 10 in dinghies, skiffs, and yachts, either fleet racing or match racing. But I wanted to see the world under sail. Over the past three years, my girlfriend and I started seriously planning towards this adventure and have turned it into a reality. We purchased an Elan Impression 384 in Croatia in April this year, returned to Australia to plan the finer, finer details. And it just so happens that France is arriving in Montenegro today. So we were going to leave the fjords today because we wanted to get out into the open ocean and do some diving, but Franz is arriving today, so we're going to stick around for Franz. Project Manaya are keen to hang out too, so we're just heading to a new town that we didn't intend to head to, called Rizan, and we're going to see what it's all about. We are bringing a rainbow salad and a an aubergine and some, some drinkies, wine, and beer. Then it's up for you to decide. Will you decide? 
We had an epic time hanging out with Project Manara in France, which unfortunately we did not film. The next day we didn't stick around to explore Rusan as it didn't seem like there was much going on there. So we bid farewell to our new friends and headed out of the fjords.